Hi, Chris here with Dot Product for a brief video tutorial demonstrating the import and meshing procedure for Dot Product.dp scan data into 3D Reshaper from Hexagon. So once you've opened up 3D Reshaper and started a new project, the first thing that you're going to want to do is import a .dp point cloud file. 3D Reshaper is a Dot Product software partner for direct DP import, which makes this a fast and easy workflow to select a .dp compressed color point cloud file and import directly. You have the option to decimate and reduce your points to 6 million. We're going to just leave all of our points in this case. It may result in a longer meshing time, but we'll keep all of the dense detail of our dot .product scan. You'll definitely want to play with that option depending on the size of the data or the purpose of the data that you're working with. This will take about a minute to import. Once it's finished importing, you'll see the color point cloud file immediately displayed on the screen and have a quick look at it. And there's a lot you can do here in 3D Reshaper as far as editing the point cloud, editing the mesh, etc. Uh, what we're going to focus on in this video is the straightforward procedure of creating a solid mesh, uh, editing it, and filling in a couple holes, and then reapplying the color and texture before exporting the mesh. So the first step in order to mesh this is to go to the Mesh tab and then click anywhere on the cloud in order to select the entire file. And then you want to select 3D Mesh. And there's two different options here in 3D Reshaper to mesh in two steps or use regular sampling. You'll definitely want to play with the different options and parameters and use that preview button at the bottom of the screen a lot to try things out. In this case, we'll do a standard two-step meshing and leave all the parameters as is. So that first step is pretty quick. This is going to give us a, coarse, a coarser mesh to start with. And then step two, we'll refine that mesh. Now that that first step has finished, we can have a quick look at our file. In the coarse mesh format, looks good. And we want to move down to the bottom left of the screen again and select OK to move on to step two. And those are some parameters you can play with here. In this case, for the demonstration, again, we're just going to leave them on their defaults. And we're going to select Preview to begin the second step of the meshing process to refine this mesh. This will take a few minutes, depending on whether or not you decimated the data on import. In this case, we did not. So I'm going to fast forward the video here as it takes a few minutes to mesh. And when it finishes, you select OK Exit as long as everything looks good, which it does. And one of the major benefits of 3D Reshaper over some of the other meshing tools out there is the ability to very easily repair and edit your mesh. So, for example, we have this hole here. <clears throat> and we want to fill that. Um, so we have a very simple option to fill holes. So we just need to select the mesh again and then select fill holes. Now, depending on what you're working with, if you're trying to create a watertight mesh, you could select all and try and fill everything. Obviously, in this case, we're not creating a watertight mesh. And we'll just select the holes one by one by clicking them. So there's three holes, four holes that we want to fill and I'll hit preview. So as you see, it strategically filled in those holes, putting in the best filling information that we have. Then I hit OK, exit. And now each of those holes has been filled in. And lastly, we want to reapply the color from the point cloud to the mesh. So this can be a little bit tricky. You have to remember to open up your cloud group and open up your mesh group and select both the point cloud file and then control select the mesh file as well. So you have both selected and then you'll have a new option here. Take color from cloud still within the mesh tab. So we'll select that and we'll leave these default settings to approximate the color if there is not one 
in the vicinity of the mesh, for example, where we filled those holes, and select Preview. And there we have it. All of our point cloud color has been reapplied back to the mesh. And we select OK. And now we have our 3D mesh color textured solid file. So if we go to File, Save, we'll save our project as HBAC. And then to export the mesh, you want to first select it as we've been doing and go to your export button. And you have a wide variety of industry standard mesh export options, some of which maintain the color, some of which do not, uh, depending on your workflow. For any additional questions, please visit dotproduct3d.com or contact support at dotproduct3d.com.